Hello, and welcome back to Cincinnati Museum Center's Story Tree Time. This week's story tree is this tree. This tree is a coast redwood called Hyperion, and it's the actual factual tallest tree in the world, standing at around 116 meters. But a good tree. Uh, okay, like always, we're going to start with the breathing exercise. I need you to breathe in, like they're about to announce the winner of the science fair. And breathe out, because you just won the science fair, and it was a tie with your best friend. So it's a best possible situation. Okay, one more time. In, and out. We're all feeling very calm now, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so this week's book is called Ruby Finds a Worry, and it's a very good book. So. Let's read the book. Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high, and she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up half the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then, one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt. Sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be... a worry? It was! Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. The end. Wasn't that great? I think Ruby Finds a Worry is the perfect book for right now, because I'm willing to bet we're all a little bit worried. And as Ruby learns, Oftentimes the best way to alleviate that worry is to talk to somebody about it. So talk to somebody about it. And thank you for watching. Tune in next Wednesday at 11 a.m. for another edition of Story Tree Time, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. For more videos and activities, make sure you visit our website, cincymuseum.org, and follow us on social media. Cincinnati Museum Center is a nonprofit organization which relies on ticket sale revenue to continue to operate, which is not currently an option for us. 
If you are in a position to donate, click the link in the description below and know that all of us at CMC are incredibly grateful for your support.